In order to be able to crack these open, you need to understand this property. Log base b of m equals c. They change to convert to something that's exponential. And if you look here, log base b, b is a base, b is a base. It's the base. c is the exponent that goes on that base, and m right here is actually the answer. Let's look at a simple example with some numbers because I think that's going to make it a little easier. I want you to convert log base 3 of x equals 2 into something that looks like an exponential equation. The base is 3, so the exponent is 2, so 3 squared equals x, and now we can solve it easily, then we know that x equals 9. That's the advantage of understanding this relationship and how to convert. All right, so here's our first one, and you can see by the word check, we're going to check our answers. All right, so the first thing you want to do is convert this. We can see that we are sitting with a base 2, so the 2 goes here. We know the exponent is going to be 4, so that goes here. And we know the answer is whatever is sitting in that spot, x plus 5. 2 to the 4th power is 16 equals x plus 5. Subtract 5 from both sides, we're coming up with x equals 11. Now let's just do a quick check in the original problem to make sure that that makes sense, that that's going to work. Log base 2 of 11 plus 5. Log base 2 of 16. Does that equal 4? Well, the easy way to do this is to convert back to the what we were doing before, and that's saying that 2, 2 is the base, 2 to the fourth power. Does that equal 16? And yes, it does. 4, natural log of 3x equals 12. I'm going to start by dividing both sides by 4, and we get the natural log of 3x equal to 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, now in order to convert this into an exponential form, you have to remember that the base of a natural log is e. Hello? And we are raising that to the third power and setting it equal to the answer part, which is 3x. We're going to divide both sides by 3. So our final answer is x equals e cubed divided by 3. And let's go in and do the check. We have 4 times the natural log of 3 times what we got for our answer, which is this e cubed over 3. And we're checking to see if that's going to equal 12 when we're finished. So now we have the natural log of, well, the 3 times e cubed over 3, the 3's cancel, so the e cubed just comes down. Now natural log with an exponent, the exponent comes down. So we now have the 4 out here, and we're going to be multiplying that times 3, natural log of e. Well, the natural log of e is 1, so we're just left with 4 times 3, and that does equal 12. So that is a check. For this problem, we're going to end up with two answers at the end, and one of those answers will not work. That's why the check is very important. We're going to start by using properties of logs to simplify that expression into one log logarithm. Since that is subtraction, we know this started out as being a division problem. So it's the natural log of 24 divided by x minus 2, and that equals the natural log of x. Now there's another property called the one-to-one -one property, which tells us that if you have the natural log or any log that has the same base of two things that are equal to each other, then those two things you're taking the log of must have been equal to each other. Makes sense, right? So I'm just going to rewrite this without the logs. 24 over x minus 2 equals x. Multiply both sides by x minus 2 so that we can clear that fraction. That's going to cancel, and you now have 24 equals, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out. That's going to be x squared minus 2x. Subtract 24 from both sides. We're going to get 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 24. Factoring, so our two answers, if you solved here, are x equals 6 and x equals negative 4. Let's just go in and do the check now. If I take the 6, natural log of 24, 4 minus the natural log of 6 minus 2 is 4. Does that equal the natural log of 6? Well, without grabbing a calculator, I can see that you're subtracting logs. I'm going to go ahead and use that same property we were using before. And that's a division problem, so you get the 24 over 4. The natural log of 24 divided by 4 is 6, and that does equal the natural log of 6. So that one is going to work. All right, now let's check x equal to negative 4. And you have the natural log of 24 minus minus the natural log of negative 4 minus 2 is a negative 6. Is that going to equal the natural log of negative 4? Well, right now we have a problem. You cannot do natural logs of negative numbers. This problem has one solution, and that is x equals 6.